It's Kevin back here and I wanted to walk you through the steps I took to build my bill of materials for my GMAX 1.5. So I first started by going to GCreate's website and then going over to downloads, form downloads, and scrolling down here to the 1.5 manuals, the build manual, and then this is what you want to download right here. Apparently the download is broken. I think that's because they just updated their website, so hopefully they'll fix that, but I already actually have it open. So this is what you get when you download their build manual. So what I basically did is I looked through this and pretty much just tallied up all the nuts and bolts, everything that I needed. So their, their build manual is actually really helpful. Uh, these T-nuts are basically just little 3D printed parts with a quarter inch nut just placed right in the middle of it so you can actually print those out if you have access to a 3D printer um, and if you are building this printer you will need access to a 3D printer uh, in order to produce uh, a good number of the parts and it tells you the size of the frame here so I basically just walked through this and basically tallied up you can see uh, the nuts, the bolts, the washers, everything's here it shows you exactly how to build the printer and I actually used this once I got all the parts together and and actually ended up building this thing so I will show you my so this is the bill of materials that I ended up coming up with so right here I just have basically the quantity these are all the nuts and bolts in this column here and then at the bottom here you can see the various length frames and the quantities of those. If you want this file, I'm open to sending it, but it only takes a, you know, a half an hour to put together. Um, and then this is kind of where I, I specified all the things that I was going to purchase in order to, to get everything that I needed. Um, so I actually split up everything. These are all the more um, costly items versus uh, extrusion is is very expensive portion of it, but it's not electronics and hardware. Um, that I that I was gonna be ordering necessarily from China. So if you look here, I have everything nicely spaced up, and then you'll see down here an actual kit total price. Uh, and the reason that's there is because, um, be it that I built the Electron Mix G3 printer, I actually figured you know this is a great printer in terms of the materials that I get, and to actually buy the parts that come in that printer if I bought them separately I would only save about twenty dollars so I ended up actually deciding to buy that exact kit again and that way I have all the printed plastic parts for that printer as a backup uh, in case I break any of those because they unfortunately do not give you the files to print them I've already reproduced some of them I'm using Autodesk Fusion 360 but I really just wanted to have the printed parts just in case I would ever need them and then I have extra um, threaded rods and everything for, for that printer and then these miscellaneous things on the bottom are basically um, the pieces that were not included in the kit that I would need to finish. So you can see this is this price actually is the is what the kit total price if I bought them separately. And then the actual print printer kit is two hundred thirty dollars. Um, so basically, totaling all these up, it's about five hundred dollars. Uh, however, that does not include any of the aluminum extrusion um, or some other costs that I didn't see coming um, later down the road on eBay here. And if you just look up 8020 1.5 inch aluminum extrusion, you'll actually find plenty of it here. And the way I actually went was I actually ended up getting used aluminum extrusion. I really like the black, so I ended up buying um, all black. My printer's all black as you'll see in the future videos. And this this right here is actually specifically what you want to buy. So this is 24 inches, so these would actually be perfect for the base of the bed. Um, depending how high you want your printer to be, they could also work for your vertical uprights. But So I basically bought used aluminum extrusion. Uh, this is pretty much the scrap that they cut off of the ends from big orders that they get from various companies. So they sell it for a relatively inexpensive price compared to if you were actually buying it from 8020 brand new. So... It's like getting a brand new car that has, you know, 500 miles on it, which is which is pretty nice in my mind. So then the other uh, extrusion we need to buy 
is from the Open Builds Parts Store. And that is, we need to buy some of the wheels. So the V-slot wheels. You can actually buy any type of wheel he here, um, these sizes, whichever you actually want. I ended up going with this uh, Delrin V-wheel kit just because that is what I found on the forums. It's what they used to use, I believe. Now I think they switched to a solid V-wheel. Uh, there's, there's benefits to, to both of them. I think the solid V-wheel uh, has the advantage of being significantly cheaper, although I don't know if it actually gives you any benefit in terms of accuracy um, during printing. Um, and then the other thing you need to get on here, along with the wheels, is you need to get the actual V-slot linear rail. And this took me a while to actually find out that this was actually what I needed to get, but you end up wanting the 20 by 20 millimeter V-slot linear rail and I got a thousand millimeters because you need I believe 24 inches which is slightly longer than 500 millimeters unfortunately um, but so I got the black thousand millimeters I got three of those because you need two for the bed on the bottom and then one going across for your x-axis so this is where you buy those here and then I'll quick show you where I actually bought my electron mix G3 so this is I'd say relatively okay um, place to buy printers if you want to buy just cheap do-it-yourself printers that you don't want to spend a lot of money on but don't expect to get a whole lot of support from them I haven't really gotten much help so I actually bought this Electron Mix G3 kit to basically use as the basis for my GMAX printer and this printer comes with hot end an E3D clone E3D V6 clone which works perfectly fine for me um, so right there it is comes with some of the bearings I needed for the vertical for the z-axis comes with some belts for for the y-axis uh, and the z-axis I actually had to buy other belts from Amazon most of the other parts as you saw on my shell spreadsheet were ordered from Amazon um, and I don't think it shows here oh, yes but it also comes with an LCD display the power supply, all the stepper motors, comes with heated bed that I don't actually need but it's perfect because now I have a backup for my original Electron Mix G3 and it's not shown here but it comes with an MKS base um, the first time I ordered it I got a MKS base version 1.4 the second time I got a ba MKS base version 1.2 they actually both use the same software I'll tell you a little bit later about some of the problems I ran into that and how you can hopefully avoid them and not have to go through the trouble that I went through. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I source all the parts where I ordered them. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below. And thanks.